who men are heroes tonight for chasing after and capturing another man who was seen beating a woman inside of a car. This all happened along the I-205 bridge after the woman pulled over and her passengers started chasing her. The two good Samaritans body slammed, even hogtied the suspect after they saw him slap a second woman. Our Lisa Balick is going beyond the headlines and talking to both of these men. Up there along the bridge by exit 14 is where they struggled to stop the man and they didn't hesitate to capture him after what they saw. I saw him strike another woman who turned out to be an off-duty firefighter um, according to the fire department that came out. Um, uh, at that point, I, I was rather upset. That's what prompted Joey Thomas to step in. He was heading home from work when traffic suddenly stopped on I-205 by the Camas exit. He jumped out and started chasing after the man. So did William Byram, another driver. They said, that guy's hitting that lady. And I was like, that guy's not going to hit that lady anymore. Byram then saw the man hit the second woman. While I was trying to talk to him, he'd hit the lady. And that's when we were done. Um, I had grabbed him and we tussled a little bit and we got back towards the, the side of the bridge. Thomas tells me he and Byram then joined forces. I created a diversion by grabbing the guy's hands and Will, the other gentleman you spoke to, came up behind him and body slammed him down onto the pavement there. And we got him right at the corner of the bridge. Joey reached out and grabbed his hands and I lifted him up and body slammed him and got him on his back. This is the man arrested, 26-year-old Daryl Klassen of Portland, who has multiple arrests, including for failure to register as a sex offender and for drug possession. Thomas and Byram made sure Klassen stayed put until police arrived. I ran back to my truck and got a leather strap from my briefcase and hogtied the guy. Did you do it again? Absolutely. You know, it's, it's like I told um, the other guys, if that was my wife or if that was my mother and, I w and I'm not around, I would certainly hope someone else would step in and take action. Klassen now faces charges of reckless endangerment and assault. Along the Columbia River, Lisa Balick, 